Hey, Joe here from Personas. Let's talk about marker tracks. If you haven't used them, they can be really handy, and you've probably seen them on screen in some of my and Gregor's and other folks' videos. Let me show you how they work and the two ways that I like to use them. So if you open up your song and you look right up here, just below this bar that shows us like where we are in the song, if you don't see a marker section here, you'll need to come over to this little button here and then select the marker track. So you can see we have a lot of extra tracks that we don't show because you may not need them all. But if you do need one, click that and that brings up this marker track. It looks like this. And then it tells us that we can now add markers. By the way, this is where you find your start and end marker, which you can use to mark the beginning and end of your song. But markers for me historically have been really helpful for marking the different sections of the song so it's easier to get through the session. I'm bad about remembering to do this sometimes, but the good news is Studio One makes it very easy to do. So I can start the song here, um, and as soon as the verse kicks in, I can use a shortcut, Shift-Y, to add a marker. And it adds it at the exact moment that I press the shortcut. So I, I can always move it later if I want to, but um, even if it takes me a while to type it in, that's okay. Check it out here. I'm gonna start this right on the downbeat. Bam. So I hit it right at bar 17. If it takes me a minute to type because I type so slowly, it doesn't matter. Once I hit enter, it drops it right where I press the button, a little behind the beat. Here comes the chorus. Just like that. So that's pretty simple, straightforward. Markers and things like that have been around for forever. A couple things you might not know. If we open up our preferences or our menu and go to keyboard shortcuts, which I've got set to option K as a keyboard shortcut to the keyboard shortcuts, it's very meta. Um, if you come in here and just search the word marker, it can be instrumental, or not instrumental, it can be informative. So look at all the different commands that we have available to us um, from just searching the word marker. Uh, the ones that really intrigue me are split all tracks at markers. Yeah, that's interesting. But really, these are the interesting ones. There's a go to next marker and a go to previous marker. Now, I can't remember if these are already hard mapped to the apostrophe and semicolon buttons. If they're not, this is where we can just map them by just saying, yes, I want you to be a semicolon. But check it out. We, um, get out of here. If I set up my markers now, as the song is playing, I can press those buttons on my keyboard to go to different sections. Obviously, you can do that if it's playing or if it's not playing. This is really handy for navigating your session if you have a handful of markers and you just want to quickly go to different sections without having to even zoom out and then scroll over and find the section and zoom back in. You can just use this command to get there quickly. It's very cool. I don't use that enough. I'm going to start using that more. Um, the other thing I like to use markers for is to uh, give, leave myself notes about things that I want to work on. So I had the guys over from the band we were working on this song and they were like, hey, when you're doing vocals, it'd be cool to put a high harmony on this course. And so I just added a marker, called it high harmony. Now it's going to stare at me until I deal with it. It's literally kind of like a to-do list. Once I do it, I can then come in, select it, delete it, and then it goes away. But it's a handy thing. It's not great if you need a huge list of things to do, but if it's just like one or two things that I need to, you know, I forgot to edit these drums and learn how to type, I could put that there. And then at least at some point, just because it's so ugly, it'll bug me and I'll have to deal with that problem, then I can delete it and make it go away. All right, that is all the marker fun we can stand for one day. Go play around with markers, add them to your workflow. It'll make you faster, better, braver, and probably more attractive. I can't promise the last several, but you get it.